Hello, I'm Bruce Ackley from The Ohio State University and today we're going to be talking about pigweed identification. We're going to break up the pigweed identification into four major groups. We're going to talk about uh, pubescence and hair, we're going to talk about petioles, we're going to talk about leaves, and we're going to talk about inflorescence. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the hair. Uh, Palmer amaranth or water hemp are listed as having no hair or almost no hair. So here's a picture of Palmer amaranth where you see absolutely no hair at all. This is another picture of Palmer where you can start to see the hair. It's kind of there. There's not a whole lot, but there definitely is hair present. And then here is a picture of water hemp where it's even sparser, but there still is hair there. So when you compare those to red root pigweed, which the hair is super present and all over, that is something you should be able to distinguish. Uh, with the palmer and the water hemp, the next thing you're going to want to look at is petiole length. So with our palmer plant, you're going to have a petiole that is as long or longer than the leaf. Uh, with the water hemp, you're going to have something that is about a third to half of the leaf, uh, but it's never going to be the length of the leaf. Uh, when looking at the palmer petioles, if you have an older plant, you want to go towards the base of the plant with the longer leaves. If it's a seedling, uh, you're going to want to look uh, at, the, at the oldest leaves also that have uh, the first or second true leaf, they're going to have the longest petiole. Now having looked at those pictures, we're going to talk about the leaves. So here's a palmer amaranth leaf. Palmer amaranth is a diamond to ovate shaped leaf. It's typically widest at the base. So that's a big ID characteristic. With our water hemp, it's typically more elongated leaf. It's kind of narrow, really long. Also, they're, they're usually very shiny. Uh, they have a nice uh, kind of almost plasticky look to them, which makes them pretty easy to pick out. Uh, lastly is our red root or uh, smooth pigweed leaf. These are typically more egg-shaped and widest towards the middle. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about inflorescence. So the big spike behind me, this is Palmer amaranth. The spike is the telltale characteristic. If this is something you see, you know, you're in your combine or you're driving past one of your fields in your pickup truck, uh, you should stop, you should get a plastic bag, you should go cut the seed head off, you should pull the plant out, remove it from your field, and you should really pay attention to that location uh, moving forward to make sure you don't have a lot more Palmer if it's already dropped a bunch of seed because you're going to want to stay on top of it because uh, you can have a real problem real quick. Uh, but when you compare that to water hemp, which has a lot, of, a lot of branches, it's very wispy, it's thin, it's usually kind of soft, it's pretty easy to tell apart, versus a red root or smooth pigweed, which have uh, numerous branches, they're short and stout, uh, and these are most often, they have uh, uh, prickers or spines, or if you grab a hold of them, they'll stick you in the hand. The palmer will also do that, but not always. Uh, sometimes the palmer's soft, sometimes it's rough. Again, I'm Bruce Ackley with Ohio State Extension. If you have any questions in regards to pigweed identification or management strategies, you can visit our blog with the link that's pictured on your screen right now. Uh, there's lots of good information on there, or you can contact myself or my supervisor, Dr. Mark Laux. Uh, we'd both be more than happy to help you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful, and have a great day.